told me love was only in the movies that don't exist in real life these days, no. But you showed me if I only just find the faith I need to believe. If anything is possible, if you want it bad enough, know this guy ain't too high. Test your limits. Feel unstoppable, incredible. Almost there, I can see I'm so ready. Ace family, so we just got home. We've been at Disney all day, and someone broke into our house. As you can see, we have literally walk in the house. The house is pitch black. We're tired as hell because we've been at Disney for the past six hours. And I'm holding the L in my arms. Captain's coming in behind me. Like I said, the house is pitch black. I put the keys down the counter and I hear some like glass dropping. And I look over and it's a back door shattered. So I told Catherine, the girls, get the fuck out of there. We left, had to run to the neighbors, talk to the neighbors. And now, like I said, the cops are finally here. Um, and hopefully they didn't take too much shit. But like I said, this is, this is scary. This is how you know. It's a robbery when you got four cars out here and about eight total cops involved. So more cops just pulled up. It's probably a total of 10 cops now. Never in a million years would I ever thought the Ace Family House would get broken into. And it happened tonight. And we don't give a fuck what they took in the house. As long as Elle's safe and our new princess is safe and Catherine is safe, that's the only thing that matters. And they're right here next to us, so... <sighs> they're literally in the house right now, checking the house. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but they're in the house. She's like, I don't know, I don't know, little ones. The dog is here to save the day. <laughs> oh, man. I guess another cop car is here. One, two, three, four, five. And they are still in the house. All right, Ace family, so we're picking up back on the vlogging camera. We are in the house. The cops checked the entire house. They said they left already. Let's turn the lights on. You didn't take your wallet? Mostly everything that's ransacked was upstairs. What? You did. Oh, that's true. Recording? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey, my guy right here, he's helping us out. He's part of the Ace family. <laughs> so guys, this is what they did, as you can see. Shattered their entire back door, so they came in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is crazy. I'm so confused. They didn't take the wallet. They didn't take this stuff. What, what? Is this all mail supposed to be here? Oh, what the hell? Is this supposed to be here or no? No. Where's your mailbox? It was in the front. That's weird. Why would that be there? I don't know. This is weird. No, it was locked. It wasn't locked. No, it so was they probably crazy. ran up through oh, the stuff so and went in the back? What the fuck, bro? That's it weird. Was it locked or no? It, it was, was, no, it was partially locked. Like, it wasn't, it was turned, but not. Is that, at, is that mail for here? Yeah. It says Ace Family all over it. Our merch box? They went inside the merch box, bro. What were they looking for? We did have no valuables. Literally, the only thing valuable is my daughter, and that's about it. They try to take the YouTube play button. Oh, they took all my purses. They, they took what? They took all my purses. Motherfuckers. Oh, I don't give a shit about purses, so. There's a, there's a knife work, too. Oh, would that be up here? Oh, that yeah. would not be up here. They brought that bitch from downstairs. Yeah, they took all they my bags, too. They all my shit in here. Damn. Well, that no means they cash. Have a car. We don't keep cash. That means they had a car. Yeah. Carry all those bags. Okay, now let's see. Oh, they didn't take. I don't have jewelry, so they didn't. Oh, they left they... L's ring. Yeah, they left L's yes. ring. The only thing I cared about in this entire house. Yes. Yeah. Thank cool. you. Thank you. <laughs> they left your ring, baby. They left your ring. I love you. Is that legal? Damn, guys. It is. Mm -hmm. I know. Why is that legal? Isn't it? And I guess the cops just said TMZ is already outside. Well, let's check L's room. L, baby, let's see what they took. There, Bebe, they ransacked your closet. Bebe, they took your stuff. 
You okay? It's okay. We don't need none of that. We don't care about that. All we care about is you, mama. Yeah, oh, they left your room nice. To put the bags in. That's what they did. So they left all your shoes. Whoever this was is petty as hell. And I'm sure y'all watch our videos, which is the most fucked up thing. And just know karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. God is going to catch y'all. Watch. See what they did to grandma's room? I don't really see. They ain't really touched this room. Oh, they left. They kind of left my shit. Yeah. Looks like they took a couple stuff, huh, Elle? They left my some of my shoes in here. Hmm. Wow. Hey, what's the gym? What are they going to do? So, so they, they brought the knife from upstairs? Yeah. They brought it upstairs because they didn't know who was upstairs. Is that right? That's what I guess. Damn. Why else would you bring a knife upstairs from downstairs? Because they're probably wondering, like, in case someone's up there, sure. I'm going to stab So do we have your See? permission to take the knife for to get fingerprints off of it? Yeah, of course. So they broke in to steal a couple name bags. And that's it? Yeah. They left the computers. Left everything else. Um, they left the diamond play button here. Yeah, yeah. Do you have your ID? Uh, yeah, I do. We can go back downstairs. Start. So what do you think they used to break this window? I don't know. Some, some type of object, or they kicked it on the, they, the bottom. They used the mat. Ah. Uh, they right, used the see, mat. At, see, it broke here. Something. So they put the mat probably and kicked it so it wouldn't hurt. Probably them. kicked it. Damn. Don't touch the front door, guys. They didn't take nothing in here. They left Ryan's room alone. It ain't been touched. I'm curious to know if they touched Dream. Didn't look like they touched Dream. Oh man, thank God, boy. Whew. Yeah, baby. Huh? Where the cops? Uh, they went outside to file the report. I know, baby. <sighs> okay, here. Stand right here. So what do take, we do? They take anything else? I don't know. I want to run through the house one more time and just see. What, what? I'm all confused on why they touched the merch box. That's weird. They were in here for a good amount of time, though. Did they take some of your clothes? They took some of your shit. No, they didn't. They didn't take my shit. Damn. They literally ransacked and just took... Oh, they didn't even take the Gucci? They didn't even... They... I guarantee you these people didn't even know what Gucci is. Oh, hell no. Yeah? All right. <laughs> Gotta get them pictures. They left the vlogging cameras. Oh, I went in there. Oh. Yeah. They didn't take. They didn't take nothing in here. Yeah, I'm right here. They're still out there. I know. I think when they saw me, they left. Oh, okay. They don't like cops, huh? No. Really? I guess TMZ left as soon as they saw the cops. Guys, I literally just stopped to get Taco Bell, thinking I was gonna have a sweet night. Eating this delicious nacho chicken cheese chalupa. And this is what we come home to. God damn. Like I said, we don't give a damn what they took. As long as Elle and our family is safe. But the scary thing is that people, random people, were in our house, ransacked our house. People that we didn't know, random people. Now that's, that's probably the scariest thing about this situation. All right, let's start doing some investigation. Turn the lights on back here. I can't see a damn thing out here. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. Why couldn't Oh, hold up, hold up, out? though. Hold up, though. Hold up. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a big foot right there. Those, those are big feet. Follow them. You need a, you need a light on that. Thing. I need a light. Follow it. So there's one right there. One right there. One right here, one right here. Yep. Yeah, that's over here. Yep. So you think they came back here? Oh, probably. I mean. Oh, there's one right here. Look. Yeah, that's not me because I've just been here. Are you sure there was no gardeners here? Uh. 
No, not today. Yo! Yeah, I'm back here! Guys, I don't remember the last time I've been a part of someone breaking into someone's house. Yeah, last what? time was what, when I was like one years old? Because these are, uh, what? Oh, when you were your dad at home? Yeah. Double How long ago was that? Yeah, My mom's now here. So there's two windows. So I'm now. 26 now, and the last time was what, when I was one? You're, well, that's no, like you're two, almost two. I was almost two years so old, that's, that, and that my parents' house got broken into, and my dad put me on the roof, uh -huh. and he, he acted like he had a gun. Did he have a gun or no? no. He just acted like he had a gun, and they took off running. Thanks. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, good luck. Hi, puppy. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, He's, you. He saved the day. He's a real hero right here. He saved the day. <laughs> oh, man. So do you guys want to go through the front door or through the garage? Oh, did I take the cameras? The cameras are working? No, they didn't take the cameras. I mean, oh, so um, we forgot to totally tell you. This is important. Um, the, our fingerprint unit is going to come and contact you within about two to three days to set up a time for them. They're going to be a whole unit that's going to come here and fingerprint everything you think that these guys or girls Put their hands to it, yeah. All righty, man. Have a good night. Yeah, good night. All right, fellas. Thank I'll you so you. much again. Yeah. It's like the first time I didn't know what to say on camera. Like, so the girls just left. I made sure they left with my mom. They went to her house. I'm still at the house. Uh, my boys came over, Ollie's here. And we're calling a company that can board up this back slider for us. Um, I don't know, I feel weird. I don't feel safe here, obviously. And I just feel like I don't know, I feel like I got invaded all privacy. Like, I feel like I lost, like I let my family down type shit, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially it's fear, bro. You got, you got your family here, dude. Like I'm telling you, you I know. Because a lot of times, like you said, when you're gone and they're, Catherine and Al are here by themselves, that's... All I gotta say is this shit will never happen again because the security will be on a whole nother level. I guess that's, a, that's all I could really say. And the fact that like, like I said, I'm oh, we're always home. And so the time that we weren't home and we're out with an ace family member um, having fun and doing something positive, this shit happens. And the scary thing is, too, for you guys that know us, you know my grandmother, she lives with us um, throughout the week. And, you know, she could have easily been home. Our cleaning lady is here. She could have been home. Like I said, the girls could have been home. It could have been much worse. Thank God it wasn't worse than anything other than t them taking a bunch of Louis bags, but like I said, that's all materialistic shit. We don't give a fuck about that. Um, end of the day, as long as our family's safe, that's the only thing that matters. Um, they did take my fucking gun. They took all my damn clips, too. I had hella clips. I was ready. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That gun's registered under you, bro. And the bullets and everything registered under you. Yeah, the cops made sure they, like, they filed a police report on my gun, so yeah. I don't know, it's just a scary situation, bro. Like, it could have been way worse. Yeah. Thank God it wasn't, and it, it, it kind of sucks too, and it makes it worse that, like, we don't have any privacy. Like, y'all can say that, you know, this, the fact that we put all of our stuff out on social media, that we shouldn't have any privacy because we're so-called famous or whatever you want to call us, but in the day where we live, where our home, that's our privacy. That's our only privacy we have. And the fact that I don't even want to call them Ace family members because I don't think Ace family members would come to our house. But for people who watch us, you guys come to our house every day. Multiple of you people come to our house every day, take pictures of our home. Catherine and I have talked about this not a lot. But we've mentioned it to you guys before that you guys come to our house every day, take pictures of our house, make videos in front of our house, chill in front of our house like it's a zoo. And it's not a zoo. Like, this is the only privacy we have. When we go out in public, we'll take pictures with you guys. We'll do whatever we want to do with you guys. We'll, we even have 
fucking sleepovers with you guys. That's how much we care about you guys. And the fact that we can't even get the little privacy that we have is disrespectful. And that's what makes it scary is because we can't, Catherine doesn't even feel safe to take out the trash. And that's, that's pretty fucked up to say. And like I said, we don't really talk about, you know, the things that go on outside of the camera. But there's a lot of shit that goes on behind the camera that you guys don't know. And this is just one of them right here. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. But like I said, guys, like, <laughs> you guys come to our house like it's a museum and take pictures and stuff like it's cool, but it's really not. It's so my family lives. My daughter lives. Now I have two daughters and a wife that I got to protect. And tonight, I feel like I didn't do my job, honestly. I feel like I let my family down. And it's fucked up to say it like that, but... Like I said, it won't be happening again. It's definitely a learning experience. Um, said I'm kind of shooken up a little bit. I had to bring the homies over. One of the girls leave the house and then feel safe here. Uh, but I got to get shit taken care of. And I definitely want to make this video because you guys should definitely know about this. Um, usually we don't ever put stuff like this on our channel because it's stuff like this doesn't happen to us. But like I said, it's gotten carried away with people coming over and feeling like it's okay to come to our house and yell our names from our house and try to get us to come out the house and just chill here and just act like it's, like I said, a museum. Catherine and I definitely talked about this before I talked to you guys. Um, and we, we agreed that you, we should put this out there and let you guys know what goes on outside the camera. Like, we're real humans, guys. Like, we, this, this shit, this shit's real. This shit can happen to anybody. And, um, yeah, I'm kind of shooken up. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. It's in a realm when we do other shit, other positive shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the media and people like this type of shit. They like drama. They like negative stuff. The world feeds off of, of negativity. And it's just sad. But I was saying, you know, they do research for you, bro. I know it doesn't matter about the bags and shit. <laughs> but, bro, I'd have them, like, yeah. look up, look up. Like, guys, let us know. If we see any of these bags anywhere, just because then we can go get at least a lead, you know? Like, yeah, and the scariest part, too, like, even scarier situation is, like, I'm going to put this, I'm going to leave this in the fucking video. You guys know I have guns. And obviously I have guns because it's for safety reasons to protect my family, but it's really because we put so much out there. We, 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 we're daily vloggers, we film every day. We don't really film outside of the house because of many reasons. We just, we're to the point now we can't really film outside the house. So we film inside our house almost every video. And for that, you guys know the in, in and outside of our home. And so if someone wants to break in, they can literally break in and go straight up to our bedroom and know exactly where everything is at. And so the guns are very necessary and that's what's very scary about all this shit. It's like I said, it could have been way worse. We could have been asleep, they could have ran up, and who knows what could have happened. And I thank God nothing worse happened than, than what happened. Like I said, at the end of the day, as long as my family's safe, it's the only thing that matters. But now that this happened, this shit's gonna be on my mind. We're gonna be thinking about it from who knows how long. We may be thinking about this for the rest of our lives. But from the situation, we're gonna maneuver a lot differently. We may not show a lot of the shit that we've been showing. Security is gonna be a whole, on a whole nother different level. Um, you guys might not see us out that much more. We, we don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna definitely talk about it and see what happens from here because like I said, this is a very serious situation. And um, yeah, I don't know, bro. Did I cover everything? <laughs> This is the most rawest video I've ever shot in my fucking life. And they need to see this shit. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. <sighs> I don't understand how scary that shit was. To come home after a long day, being at Disneyland for six hours, tired as hell. We need to come home to lay in bed. I was hungry as hell, so I stopped by Taco Bell to grab food, I'm coming in the house, waiting to eat my food, to lay in bed. I come in, house is pitch black. 
right? I'm holding the L in my arms. Captain's behind me with a bunch of bags. I'm putting the Taco Bell down, putting my keys down. As soon as I put the keys down, I hear glass dropping. I look over and there's glass over the floor, but I don't see it because it's dark. So I'm thinking like there's a puddle of glass and all I see is like just blackness. So I'm thinking like, oh, is that an animal or something? Like what the hell is that? So I look up and I see a shattered glass. When I saw the shatter, I was like, this shit hit me. Like I was like, oh shit, this is real. Someone's in the fucking house, bruh. Look back at Catherine, I'm like, yo, we gotta go, we gotta go. We run out, we get in the Jeep, lock the Jeep. She, I li keep the girls in the Jeep. I'm on the phone calling 911. I get back in the house and I'm yelling in the house. You motherfuckers better leave the house. I'm calling 911. And I really don't come back in the house to see if my, cause I forgot I left my keys on the counter. Cause I was gonna get in the Jeep and we were gonna leave. But the keys were back in the counter and I was like, yeah, there's no way. I'm running back in this house without my gun or nothing. So then I realized the keys weren't there. Grabbed the girls who ran down the streets to the neighbors. Bro, imagine feeling that. The dude could have easily been in the house next to me. Could have hit me upside the head with a bat. Could have shot us. Could have done anything. Damn. I'm sure security has to be amped up just like that. Oh, bro. What? To the max, yeah. You gotta get a dog. <laughs> and that's another thing. That's crazy. Uh, with hey, with, with hey. security being said, we're gonna be getting. We're for sure be getting a dog now sometime soon. <laughs> you guys already know we have security, but it's gonna be on a different level. Ain't nobody coming to the house no longer. <laughs> It's just gonna be, yeah, we won't be getting touched. Pretty much just say it like that. I feel like, honestly, bro, like right now, I feel like I don't wanna live here no more. To feel yeah. like random people just ran through my shit. Like, like ran through my daughter's room, like in her closet, touching her clothes and shit. Like, you think of it like that, that's some fucked up shit. Yeah, you just don't feel safe. And to be honest, bro, they were here. You don't even know, bro. They probably could have planted a camera somewhere. Who knows they what they could have done. done? A lot of stuff that we don't even know. But about. they lucky. They, they, I swear to God, they lucky. I wasn't here when that shit happened. <sighs> you seen a different side of me right now. Y'all always see me happy, go lucky, taking care of my girls. There come a point. Certain things happen. Fuck that shit goes out the window. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know, Ace family. Like. We were supposed to, like I said, get home from a nice Disney trip, edit the video we filmed today, and post it tomorrow. Um, for those who don't know what video we filmed, we were at Disney Land for the past six hours filming with an Ace family member and her family, uh, having a good old time, and we're getting ready to post it tomorrow, but like I said, Plans have changed a little bit. We wanted to film this to show you guys. And now I guess we'll be uploading this before we upload that. Cause you guys definitely need to see this shit. This is this is something y'all definitely need to see. Because like I said, we Catherine and I don't really talk about our privacy like that, even though we should, but we're the type of people to let it go because we appreciate all of your love and support, but there comes a point where you guys have to respect our privacy, like straight up. Not saying that any of you guys did this, but hey, it goes hand in hand. Like just me just being here right now talking to you guys and even though I have my homies around me, like I still feel like, it's still scary, like All I gotta say is, if y'all motherfuckers who watched our videos who did this shit, karma is a bitch. And best believe, something gonna happen to y'all. It may not happen today, tomorrow, five years from now, but something gonna happen. That's all I gotta say. I'm not even gonna be able to sleep tonight, bro. I might have to go to sleep for the next, who knows how long. 
And while I'm making videos, she's gonna be in the back of my head. And I almost wanna say, let's chill out on the videos for a minute <laughs> till we figure some shit out. But I definitely don't wanna do that. You guys know how much we enjoy this shit. And yeah, you guys say we put a lot out there and we do and we're daily vloggers and and having no privacy is kind of comes with what we do for a living. We, we know that, but at our home, nah. This is the privacy we deserve and the privacy we're going to have. Our home. This is where we lay our heads at night. It's where my family lives. It's the only privacy we have, like I always say. So I guess I can only close it out with um we're all safe thank god my girls are with my mom they're safe i'll probably go over there later after i get everything situated here the board people should be locking up the the, the door yeah. soon right they're coming over here any minute all i can really say is Just give us some time to figure out all this shit. We may not post a video for a few days. I don't I don't know. I haven't really talked to Catherine about it yet. I almost feel like I got set up. That's the first thing you said. Bro, you know what you should do? Bro, I swear to God, I feel like I got set the fuck up, bro. Don't play around, bro. Nobody here, yeah, bro. There was yeah. 10 cops that were in this bitch for like 20 minutes checking everything. Yeah, no, I thought I heard something. Nah, ain't nobody here, bro. <laughs> What sucks, bro. There's so many pros and cons of what we do, bro. Yeah. Like, 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 I don't even, there's so many. The positive thing is that we do have such a positive fan base. You, we can't thank you guys enough for being so positive and just good people who watch our videos. But at the end of the day, who knows who the fuck watches our videos? Like I said, there's a lot of watchers out there and a lot of haters and a lot of people that know what we got. And people are just fucked up, man. I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. I feel like I got set up. They literally ran upstairs straight. They went straight to the bedroom. Ransacked the whole shit. Took all the bags. I'm glad they didn't take L's ring, though. I would've been hurt. They didn't take no jewelry. Yeah, thank God, bro. Her necklace, too. Her necklace? They didn't take none of that, bro. Damn. I would really have been hurt if they took her ring. I would have been hurt. For real, for real. That was probably the only thing I would have been hurt about. They could have took anything else. Honestly. And I feel like they were in here for some good time. Like I said, I feel like they were in here for at least 10, 20 minutes. Because this house is big as hell. Yeah. To be emptying out all the drawers, checking the mattress, doing all this shit, checking closets. Who's calling me? Hey, baby. Hey, uh, I just remembered Pablo. I'm gonna be getting there soon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm on camera right now, um, talk, okay. talking to today's family. Is there anything you want to say while you're on the phone? Because you're not in the video. Uh, oh, first of all, I just want you to come meet me now because I don't, I don't want you to be there. It's not safe. Yeah. But, um, no, I have a lot to say. I just can't think right now because okay. it's overwhelmed. And I'm tired. All good. So. You can talk to them, I guess, later in another video. No worries. All good. Bye, I'll see you in a little bit. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <sighs> I've been talking for a minute. This video is probably going to be like 30 minutes long. But like I said, y'all need to see this shit. Y'all get to see what goes on outside the, the 15, 20 minutes that we post. Because a lot of shit that y'all don't see, we don't talk about. And this is this is one of them. Privacy. I guess we will see you in the next video. I've never had to close out a video like this. I've never had to talk like this. I've never had to see me like this. But shit happens. And it's time to move on. And shit gonna change. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm out this bitch. Fuck whoever broke in our house. Piece of shit.